Now, when we're going to create a program for a CNC mill, the codes are essentially the same no matter which machine we use. So we need to understand the basic G code and M code, the machine language that is understood by all CNC mills. Most of this code is also readable by the CNC lathe, although there are some differences and we will talk about these differences later. But for now, let's talk about the basic codes for CNC mills. To begin manual programming, we need to know how codes are understood by the machine. Now, here are some examples of characters. Characters are used in combination to create words. Here are some examples of typical words. The unique alpha numeric arrangement creates a word where the letter is the address and it is followed by the numerical data with or without symbols. There may be some numerical values that have a negative sign. There may be decimals, but in some cases there are neither. The address, the letter, it defines the meaning of the word and must always be written first. It's important to remember that no spaces are allowed within a word. Notice there is no space between the letter address and the numerical data. Spaces are allowed between the words. As a matter of fact, we need to make sure we put spaces between the words. Individual words, they're instructions that are grouped together to form sequences of programming code. These sequences are called blocks. Each word on this block is read simultaneously and is performed simultaneously. At the end of each sequence is a semicolon. This indicates the end of a block. We refer to the symbol as the EOB or end of block symbol. 